8,850 meters, the mountain has stirred the imagination and courage of man for centuries. Hundreds have died trying to climb to its summit, and now a city slicker with a borrowed sleeping bag but a lot of heart is about to attempt to trek to its third base camp. This is the Everest Podcast. Okay, Pumba. Sorry about that. I'm going to take a picture of the sunset. Uh, no problem. <laughs> now I just finished dinner. Yep. So you were saying a resume. <laughs> all the all the mountains you've climbed. Not all. Not all. <laughs> Not all. <laughs> <laughs> there is still a few mountains that are left. Well, you you climbed. Sorry. To South Coal. Yep. Of Mount Everest. Yes. Eighty-two hundred meters. Yes. Eight hundred. two hundred meters. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> And then you summited Choyu. Yes, I did. With a friend of ours. Yeah. Yeah. And then he skied down, and you, from the top of Choyu. Yeah. Yes. And you slid down your bum. <laughs> <laughs> videotaping. Videotaping him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're in good hands. <laughs> so, I'm going to ask, I want to ask, what's a hard question for you? Okay, you can ask. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, what's the what was the best part of this trek? Sorry? What was the best part of this trek for you? Uh best part. F- I think the best part is from uh, not in the bus, in the truck, but from base camp to uh, camp two is uh, the best part for this. From base camp to yeah. camp, camp two. two. Which camp two? Oh interim uh, camp. Yeah, intermediate camp. Oh yeah? Why? <laughs> because uh, we are in the more in the mountain. Oh, okay. So that's right. Because I love mountain. Yeah. yeah I, w- I want to be in the mountain. Oh, it's no. very quiet. Yeah. Not a crowd. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's too now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now we're. Uh, it's like a whole city out there. <laughs> Jeez. We're actually. The noise you're hearing in the background, we have two yak men who are. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> they're leaving the tent. With our with our light, they're taking care of the yak. They're taking care of the feeding the yak. <laughs> so what was the worst part of this trek? Worst. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think the worst part is from that uh, we drive from Tingli to Beskin. Okay. <laughs> that was a little bit difficult in the truck. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, so for the podcast <laughs> listeners, we actually had two vehicles coming in from, uh, basically from Kathmandu. Yes. And after we, <coughs> we, <laughs> we the clients, and Giovanni, myself, and Giovanni's dad, we got to ride in this uh, Land Cruiser, which actually wasn't that great either. It was. No, it was too bumpy in <laughs> there. I, I hit yeah. my head a few times <laughs> on that window and stuff. <laughs> Pretty crappy ride, <laughs> and it leaked in the back too. Yeah. But <laughs> poor Pemba <laughs> had to ride in this giant, like, industrial, communist, Chinese-made <laughs> truck in the back seat right behind the driver. And, uh, had, like, the really sharp turns. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's too bad. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, I thought... to go back, to right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's true. He has to go back in the truck. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, how many uh, how many treks have you done? Treks and expeditions in your life? Uh, quite a lot. I, I climbed the size most mountain are Choyu and Everest. Uh-huh. Everest still to South Pole. Yeah. But I have summited many other six thousand meters peaks are in Nepal. When did you start climbing? Uh, from seventeen. Wow. And so, were you? Because all Sherpas come from like the Khumbu region. Yes. yes. So you were born in the Kumbu yes, region, yes, yes. but you live in Kathmandu now. Yeah, right now I'm living in Kathmandu. But now you want to come visit the states. Yeah, I would like to come <laughs> just for a month. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Unless you meet a nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. See, this, <laughs> this is where all the tough questions come. I know now. I know what Emma was talking about. <laughs> so, 
So basically, we're on a mission right now yes. to get Pemba to come to the States. Apparently, the U.S. Embassy in Nepal and Kathmandu is being very difficult and not letting him, not giving him a visa. So <clears throat> yeah. we're going to try to help, or at least Giovanni's dad, since he's got wisdom and t- seniority, <laughs> <laughs> is going to help see if we can get Pemba to the States so that we can take him around San Francisco and show him a good time. Yeah. And ho- hopefully introduce him to a nice lady. <laughs> 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 so, what's your most favorite part of Kathmandu? Or uh, in Kathmandu? Yeah. It's in Bauda. Bauda. What's Bauda? Bauda Nat. There's the Istupa. Huh? Of uh, Buddha. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Bauda Nat. Boda nuts? Yeah. Is that a food? No, no. <laughs> it is a place. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I heard nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you should go there when you get back to Kathmandu. Okay. Boda nuts. Yeah. There's a very good place for the monks mm. where you can pray. Oh. Yeah. Is it near um, uh, is Durban Square or uh, it's Tamil? It's a bit farther from Tamil. Okay. It takes about uh, 15 minutes by taxi. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. There's yeah. a very big stupa of uh, Buddhist. Mm. Yeah. There, there are many monks and many monasteries. Huh. Yeah. Now, is it is it hard then? Hard questions, right? Is it hard meeting nice ladies in Kathmandu? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, you like you like the transition from monks and, and good praying area and ladies. <laughs> to nice ladies. <laughs> it's difficult. It's it's hard in the state in the big city. It's, it can be very hard. It is also very good for the trees to visit. <laughs> he's just... <laughs> he's, just not the ladies. He's, he's smart. He's ignoring the question. <laughs> oh, <that's> pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you should go there and you will find out <laughs> there is ladies or monks. So this is your second time in, in Tibet now, yeah? Uh, yes. Second time. Yes. Do you like it? Um, yeah. <laughs> really? Especially in the mountain, I like it. In the <laughs> Not in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to sneeze. Hey! <coughs> 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 Excuse me. So, do you like... So, here's another hard question. Do you like Nepal trekking or Tibet trekking more? Uh, I like Nepal trekking. Just because it's home? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Is it... But, besides being home, is it better trekking? Yeah. Yeah. How come? What to say now? Better mountains. <laughs> Better mountains. Yeah. <laughs> Better mountains. If you have uh, so <clears throat> if you had any words of advice for anyone from outside of Nepal. Who, who is coming to the Himalayas, the coming to Nepal or Tibet to trek, what kind of advice would you give them? Uh, for the take? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Don't come. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, actually, there, there should be good itinerary for uh-huh. trekking. Yeah. And then uh, not to do the trek very fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, do slowly and slowly. Uh-huh. That will make you very good acclimatize, and that will make you fit for the uh, mountain. Mm-hmm. So, if you have a uh, long holidays, mm-hmm. then that will help you for the mountain, mm-hmm. and you can see everything whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Did we? Were we? We were pretty fast, right? Yeah. Because if we start in Kathmandu, yeah, and then within so Kathmandu is like seven seven thousand four hundred feet. It's like 1,300 meters? 1,300 meters. 1,300 meters, yeah. And then to climb from 1,300 meters to... This is 6,000, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. 6,000 meters in seven days? Six days? That's pretty fast, right? Yeah. 
So you wouldn't recommend that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, it's, good to know. Yeah, it's too fast. So yeah. You have to be acclimatized. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Yeah, it was too fast. We can thank so the you Chinese know, government. Yeah, for we that. weren't supposed to do it this way. <laughs> we drive from Kathmandu to Nyalam. Yeah. Uh, Kathmandu is 1300 meters. So Nyalam is 3500 something. It's a big it's jump. Very high. Yeah. Yeah. So for those of you listening, uh, Start in Lhasa if you can. <laughs> Get a head start on accl- acclimatization. Yeah. But Lhasa is actually the same elevation as no. as Nyalam. Yep. Yeah, but they get to spend a few more days in Lhasa, yeah. and yeah. then they can go through like Gyantse, Shigatse. It's a little more comfortable too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise? Oh, there's light. Oh. Is he charging it? Yeah. Oh, our our yak men have returned and have, he's um, cranking, he's hand cranking one of our flashlights. That's the noise. It's uh, called the. Uh, so there's two noises. There's the hand cranking on the flashlight and there's the the yak outside who's <laughs> continuously farting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks, Pemba. Yeah, you're welcome. And we'll uh, we'll hopefully get to say something else before we take off and leave tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks. For more information on Eric's Everest trek, as well as photos from his trip, please visit his website at www.everestpodcast.com.